Okay, um, actually out here on Lake Louisville, uh, which is just north of Dallas, and uh, this is a man-made lake. Uh, I guess it's made in probably the 40s or 50s, um, and uh, it's an expansion of the original lake reservoir that was up here that was called Lake Dallas. So uh, I am in the southwest leg of the lake. Uh, it's got a big center and uh, then it's got like four or five arms that kind of stick out that, that lead for, for miles. You know, it's, a, it's a good sized lake. It's got about 200 miles of shoreline, so uh, if that's any indication. Anyway, I'm heading toward a point that's going to be uh, in front of us here. Okay, I'm going uh, toward the main lake on this. It, it almost looks like a, a river channel, you know, the, this, this leg over here. I can probably zoom out on this and you can see it. So we're, we're right here. And uh, one of the things that I noticed about the uh, uh, Ultra map is that it's slow to load. So this is the main lake out here, and this is me right there, and this is one of those arms that leads up. And we're going to go right over here because I want to show something that almost got me in a wreck the other day there on my brand new map. So, uh, so we're going we're gonna to head over there. Hold on. It's, it's straight ahead of us here. As you can see, if I'm going toward that main lake out here, I'm going to go past this spot over there. Okay, we're coming up on this point here. And this is what I found uh, a couple days ago when I, when I went out here with the, trying to use the map for the first time. And uh, So we're going to zoom in there a little bit. That's going to be right at, right ahead of us here, and you can see I marked some spots. And this is what you see out here. Shoreline. I guess we're 75 yards off the shore, maybe. So let's go right in here. Okay. So you can see the map says it's 13. We're at 10.5. The map says it's, I should be in like, uh, coming up on 12 feet of water right here. Can you see that? 3.3. Okay. Now I'm down to two. I'm down to 1.9. And I'm all the way out here away from shore. Okay, I'm down to two. The map is saying that that should be, you know, 11, 12 feet. It's two feet. Is this a small area? Well, let's see. I mean, we've been going quite a bit. That's three feet. What does the map say? Okay, that, that map says this is what, seven feet? And now, now we're back out. It says 13 on the map. It's actually only uh, 11 on the spot we just passed. So it's not uncommon to navigate through here because a lot of people come from the main lake. That's out behind us. And they come through here and they're going toward that bridge because that's the only way way over and they'll be coming over here offshore using their maps and uh, <laughs> I mean, I, to be honest with you here I think they just copy maps from from what maps are available rather than re going and re uh, checking the lake because this is my Lawrence here okay well the battery went dead there so anyway this is my 
Lowrance uh, Elite 7 Ti and you can see that where we are right here it's saying that it's probably 12 13 feet of water and uh, Garmin is reporting that it's actually 9.4 feet though their map says that it's probably uh, 12 13 feet of water so let's head over toward the hazard area over here uh, as I was coming through here just a little bit a bit ago I, I shaded these uh, uh, set these depths and things uh, for the colors so that I could avoid hazards and uh, purple is supposed to be a good area um, I'll show you that in a little bit here but here we are so here I am four point four feet three point seven three point five three point four three point one and you, as you can see that's a spot that's marked as 13 feet I'm at 2.4 look right here when I came through here just a few minutes ago look at what's coming up off the bottom just coming through here this thing says I'm in at least eight feet of water <laughs> uh, I mean uh, probably 12 or 13 holy jamoly there how far off can you be on a, on a map like that so, uh, did somebody come and dump uh, you know a bunch of fill in here or, or what that this map should be so far off i'm in, this is saying i'm in 1.8 feet of water and this is saying 13. okay so how far are we from shore if i was just cruising by here i'd say hey i'm good i'm well away from shore the map says it's, it's this is 12 13 feet of water out here and just now it's starting to show up uh, six and a half feet or whatever which you could cruise through you know in a, in a boat with, without uh, worrying about it so yeah kind of ticked off for a 200 hundred dollar map program that's supposed to have the latest updates and be the most accurate and all that other crap you know it's uh pretty disappointing and i know that they they always put all these liabilities don't depend on this map for whatever well that's why i bought the bleeping thing you know just so i can find out um, I, I wanted the uh, the lake level great feature you need that because this lake can can change you know 30 feet you know so but uh, you know from from its highest levels to its lowest levels I guess I've probably seen ranges from about that but here I am three eight, eight feet and this is only at 3.9 and that's not the worst spot here so so it's probably a couple of acres right out in here Probably a couple acres that are grossly uh, uh, showing in error on here for from what they really are and this this was just something that I saw I mean first day out with the map okay we're gonna go over to uh, look at relief now so you got a home and charts relief shading and because I looked at some stuff online I go boy that would be great to actually see some relief shading and here's what it shows um, we're zoomed out to uh, two tenths of a mile and it's showing that there's a there's a little ledge drop off over here uh, coming up and uh, I want to show you though I'm gonna go out 